was in here. And so today, when I think back, I think, gosh, there were so many thoughts, and Muhammad thought so far forward, and he saw things in a different light. He was always about the underdog, but he was always also about how to come together. And I think in this day and age, when there's so much conflict out there, and it's sometimes it's something very simple, uh, but a gesture that we can all do that makes a difference. I remember one time I was at the farm, one of, the, one of my first visits, to Muhammad and Lonnie's farm in Darien Springs, and Muhammad had a golf cart, and he wanted to show me around the property. It's about 80 acres on the St. Joe's River, very beautiful. And to, it was much like today, very pretty day. And I remember we came upon this part of his property that was all flowers, just gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. I said, Muhammad, who does this? And Muhammad said that there was a gentleman who owned a nursery and he would use the property and sell his flowers, but it was so he could grow all of his flowers and actually make a living. I said, wow, that's really nice. I said, how much do you charge him for that? And he said, nothing. Sure looks good though, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes it isn't about owning the land or an exchange of money. It's about coming together for the common good. Mm -hmm. And I think about that, that very simple story, but that's the way Muhammad's heart worked. If we can come together and work things out, it may be good for all of us. And, that, and it did look really, really good. <laughs> so, you know, whenever I think back on Muhammad now, I think, John, quit idolizing him. And I said this a couple of years ago at, at the site here. So quit out and be more like him. You know, look for the underdog. You know, give that hand up, help people out. Because Muhammad always looked for that. It's like, how can I help out the person who needs me most? And if you're here, you understand that. And I can't tell you how it warms my heart to see how many people will never let Muhammad let go. Will never let go of Muhammad in his spirit and what he's all about. And I think we all feel it here today. So thank you so much for being out here. And I hope you get a little bit of time to uh, reflect and think about what Muhammad stood for. Lonnie, thank you very much because it's people like you and his family that carry that torch and remind our children and our grandchildren what Muhammad was all about. So again, thank you for being out today. John just arrived, so he didn't hear what I said. So that message, which is somewhat similar to what I...